Hey friends, it's me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So uh, I don't think that scientists understand genetics properly. I think they're way, way off. Imagine if I gave you a thumb drive, a small flash drive, and said, uh, there's a lot of information stored on this. Figure it out. And then you started dissecting the thumb drive at the molecular level. That's not the way a thumb drive works. You're dissecting the actual storage media itself. The information is stored inside. So the DNA double helix molecule is actually a storage media, like a thumb drive. Except instead of storing electronic information, it stores optical information. Now, why is it that different genes are associated with, uh, you know, like different eye color, different hair color, things like that? Well, the reason is similar to... Uh, To a cassette tape, you need a magnetic head to read the tape. So you need a reading, a reading head. It turns out that the different, the different traits that we have require specialized reading heads in order to get the corresponding optical information out of the DNA storage media. So that's why you see this correspondence between different reading heads, different sequences of the molecule of DNA and uh, the traits that correspond to them. But the information itself is, uh, is stored in, in, in an optical form. And that's why uh, scientists have never been able to bridge the gap between uh, genetics and proteomics because uh, the, uh, the structure of the, the magnetic reading head doesn't have the information in it. It's just a reading head. It's just a sequence of the, uh, of the storage media. So that's not the information that actually corresponds to the uh, the structure of the protein.